Hi, Hi you two. <laughs> Hi. How are you? You don't oh. understand how excited I am to be on this show. <laughs> really? Yes. I'm Gosh. excited to have you on the show. I've wanted to come on for so long, but I've never had anything to talk about. Oh, you could have just come. <laughs> oh, you had plenty I, to talk. I don't believe yeah, that. Yeah, I disagree I with that. that. You've had plenty to talk Nothing about. Nothing positive put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm really happy for you, proud of you, all those things. I'm happy to have you on. We've had your mom on many, many times. She just loves coming on the show. She loves you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I love her, too. She's always doing something. Let me just uh, show you. Uh, I just put together a oh tiny God. montage. Oh God, I don't Let me just get this. your reaction of, of what she's like on the show. Look, a quick montage. Oh, you see, I'd like to have sex with him. I like him. <laughs> stand on the balcony when the school bus picked me up and flash everyone. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So that's nothing. No. That nothing. doesn't shock you at all. Wow. No. <laughs> wow. She's, uh, she's fantastic, and I would imagine it's great to have a mom like that that, can, that you can go to and share anything with, and she supports you. That's why I always say that I have the best mom in the world, because I can literally go to my mom for anything, and how shocking and how scary it can be sometimes. She always does this. <sighs> We'll sort it out. And then I know it's gonna be all right. Cause she, she's gone an amazing way, even though like most of the time when I come to her, she doesn't approve of what I've done. And she'll let me know. She'll always make it better and help me. And did you go to her first when you were honest about your drug use? Is that the first person you went to? Um, no, because I was ashamed of myself. I didn't want to tell my parents. Because really? my mom had been in a relationship with my father for years and years and years where she tried to get him sober and I was, completely ashamed that I would have to go to her and now tell her that her daughter wow. had issues as well. Wow. But, and when you were doing drugs, did you think about that? Did you, did you, because you saw your dad and how that yeah. is a horrible existence. And... It's a, it's a really horrible feeling because I wanted to tell my mom so bad and I knew she kind of knew, but I was just so, I felt such like a horrible daughter because I, I felt like I'd let her down. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't realize is that if I just would have went to her a long time ago, she would have helped me no matter what. Right. And do you think that it was the, the pressure of all eyes on you and the family? Was it before the reality show started that you did this or during? Um, I, yeah, I started experimenting with drugs when I was 13. 13? Yeah. And, but by the time we started doing the Osbournes, I, I really was a full-blown drug addict. Mm -hmm. and. It was, it was at a time in my life where suddenly I was famous, my mom had cancer, my dad almost died in a bike accident, so I was going between a hospital in London and a hospital in LA. Mm -hmm. And on top of dealing with every time, I felt like I didn't deserve to be this miserable, but, oh, I didn't have the right to be, rather. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'd open up magazines and it'd be like, the fat daughter of Ozzy Osbourne. And I'd have things to an extreme where people would drive past our house because it was very close to sunset where we filmed the Osbournes and scream, you're fat and ugly, we hate you. And it would be like consistently every Friday and Saturday night. And Unbelievable. It, it, it was a lot for me to handle. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Yeah. And I, I didn't handle it very well. Wow, that's, I, I, that's just horrible. I mean, you know that magazines are mean like that and cruel like that, but that's unbelievable that people would do that. That's, uh, but I think, I think what you're doing by sharing not only this, talking about this, but sharing that you, what you went through helps so many other people out there, whether it's teenagers or adults that are trying to cover up some type of pain. I think it's so important that you're sharing this, so I thank you for that, thank because that's you. brave. That's really brave. <laughs>